this big old big old DFW.com. Uh, today this hot ass day in Dallas, uh, 80 some degrees. Um, anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, um, today we're changing, uh, adding two tweeters to my car. It's a 2002 Trailblazer, and we're gonna add some tweeters. It's gonna be great. And uh, first, you gotta take the you know the panel off the door, which is obvious, right? Uh, you gotta be very careful with this. Have patience. There's a clip here. This shit right here. Um, it's got clips. See? Right here. There's one. There's one. There's another one over there on the left somewhere. See? There they go. Clips. Right there. But anyways, there's four of them. Obviously, there's one missing. Uh, I know you're not going to believe me, but I didn't break this one. I have broken some in the past on the other doors. But this one's already like that. But anyways, when you take this shit off, you got to use a flathead screwdriver. When this is in the door like this, fuck. When it's in the door, there's going to be a tab on each side where those tabs are from the outside, from out here. There's going to be little tabs. You put your screwdriver or flathead screwdriver just in there in the crevice, just right, and it pops out the clip. You got to do that for each side. Um, I would show you, but I already took it apart, so it's too late for that. Now, uh, once you do that, you take that off, then you got to take this shit off here. The, uh, the window controller thing. You can pr pretty much pry it off. Um... Just be careful with it. It's got two clips here on each side, and it goes like this. See, it goes like that. So, once you get that shit off, it's gonna have wires on the bottom of it. See, this is where the connectors go, which are these over here. And those, they have a small clip. It's a small clip that I think I lost. It's not. It's green, I think. Oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, it. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, this little clip right here, it goes uh, on the uh, on the device over there. But it holds this connection in place, I guess, you know. So you just got to pull this out very carefully, uh, and it'll release this. So once you get that off, then uh, you get this off, right? The cable, the harness, you get that off. Then there's a fucking screw right here that somebody that tried to do this before, fucking idiot, didn't know and broke the shit right here. But you can't hardly tell unless you look at it. Really, really close, so that's okay. I don't have to replace the door or nothing. And then there's a metal bracket here that they over tightened and they broke this shit here. I don't know why the fuck they did that, but um, it's a uh, what size is that? It's a uh, the screw is a what is this? Um, damn, hold on, let me see. It's uh. Oh, can't even see. Oh, it's a 10 millimeter. I guess it's just standard on these holes. Yeah, I used to drill to get this shit because it's hard to reach on this other screw that we're about to. And I mean, I just like a drill because it's faster. So you take that screw out, and then there's another screw in here. This is where you put your hand in here, you know, to open the door or whatever, or jump in on and shit. There's another 10 millimeter bolt that's in here. See, you see where my finger is? Fingering here? Well, anyways, um, it's in there. You can see it. Uh, might not be able to see it now, but yeah, obviously it was a 10 millimeter with an extension. Got that out. Um, you get the panel off, and then we proceed. Once we proceed, so I took the speaker out because I wanted to check to see if the tweeter worked. That was already on there. Um, to take the speaker clip off, it's similar to taking off the window controller and you know those little switches. It's got a white uh, retainer clip here. Um, you use a, I used a little screwdriver to get that off. It's this right here, look. Um, it, it wasn't that difficult to come off, but it came off. And the uh, side screws here, uh, where the speaker was being held onto, there's three of them. There's three of them, and uh, these are... Fuck, what size are these? Uh, let's see. Uh, look. What is this? A 9 and 32. So I don't know what the fuck that is in uh, metric. There was measurements. So I don't know what that is in that. But it's a 9 and 32. Um, so yeah, I took that off. So this is what it looks like Wait, when it's removed. See? it's uh, This is like a little plastic, uh, you know, holder thing shit. And this, I think this is like a 6 and a half. Or maybe a 5 and... Five and a quarter or something like that. I think it's a five and a quarter actually. But um, 
Yeah, so I'm trying to fucking work, see if this Twitter, Twitter will work. Twitter, Twitter, whatever the fuck. So I got, I cut up some wire, extra wire that I have. Because I'm going to use this wire anyways. So, um, it's going to be about a, maybe a foot of it. Um, to test this Twitter and to install my other Twitter I'm going to install up here. Up, you know, towards the top of this shit down here. So it'll give me better sound because it's, I got good treble. But I have a lot of bass and not enough treble. And my stereo is really good at treble to my component speakers. A lot of treble, but not enough bass to them because bass uses more power than treble. So obviously I'm not going to get enough bass in my components, but that's okay. Because I want the treble here and just bass, you know, my sub. So old school, I don't know. Maybe there's better ways to do it, but that's how I want it. So, you know, we'll go from there. So I took this tweeter off. It was held on by pretty much like glue. I tested it and it's fucked. Uh, it has a little capacitor on there to meet, you know, its power needs or whatever the fuck. But um, take, I took it out because to buy an original stock one of these would be more expensive than buying a uh, high performance tweeter. I mean, it looks, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I have to look it up and research it. But usually the tweeters with the magnets on it are a lot way better than the cheapy ones that you buy, you know, like the 2 for 5 or 2 for 10 at, at you know, flea markets or whatever. Um, usually these are way better, but, uh, there's also ones that don't cause interference, so I don't know what the fuck, you know, it depends on the tweeter and the, what you want out of it, but yeah, I took it, uh, I took the bitch out, so now it looks like that, big ass hole right there, you know, I don't know, I'm thinking about putting the other tweeter in there, but then, I'd rather have the sound up here, you know, not down in here, covered behind the trim, so I don't know, let's just continue Alright, installation is the uh, reverse of the removal. Everything back so together, everything and you know, installation is the uh, reverse of the removal. And I forgot to connect these stupid ass connectors here in the back. I took them off when I was testing. Don't forget to take these off. In fact, if you don't have to, don't take these shits off. They go on the speaker. So, I put everything back together. Once everything is good, I'll be done. I'll show you. I decided to go ahead and put the tweeter here. Because it's out of the way over there. So, I'm going to put it like this somehow. I don't know, but I'm... I'm gonna put it here on the corner. I haven't decided which way to face it. But it's gonna go like this, basically. See? I'm just good. I'm gonna double sided tape. No wires anywhere. All inside. Drill a little small small hole. And that's part. That's it. I mean, there's a ton of ways to do this. You know, customize it however you want. But this is how I did it. So, you know, it is what it is. So, you put everything back together. Put the two. 10 millimeter bolts back in there so the door won't fly off on you, the panels, and you're done. Thanks. Any comments? Leave them.